Being on death row, I mean, there are different levels. Uh, yes, there's the, the level of, that people instantly think of as, whoa, you're sitting there waiting to die. What is that like? But even more immediate than that is the experience of having to live in a small place a small cell about the size of your bathroom, the typical bathroom, and just staying there. Six by eight foot cell and not getting out, except maybe, you know, when I was there, it was, we got out twice a week for 15 minutes for a shower, and you just stay in that one spot on earth, never going anywhere, and you stay there week after week, month after month, year after year after year after year after year. Now, that is, that is, uh, put it this way. The experience of living on death row in a cell while you're waiting to die, I mean, the, you, you've got two things going on. One is that isolation, that social isolation, the solitary confinement, and the, and the, the death, you know, the death penalty thing. That is the zenith in human cruelty. You don't get any waste in that. I think everybody should live with Wilbert or someone like Wilbert because he is the most inspirational and remarkable man I've ever met in my life. And I say this after knowing him for 25 years and, and having moments when I get frustrated too. But he finds hope in everything. He is one to always acknowledge that the glass is half full, it's not half empty. He has, my relationship with Wilbert changed my life. And so, he's my hero. <laughs> uh, I, think that, I think that working to get him out of prison is the best thing I ever did with my life. That's my life's work. There are few things in life that you want. The typical individual wants some, de some sense of accomplishment in life at a, on a professional level. Uh, I've done that. I've, whatever I've had to prove, I've done it. And, you know, I've had a successful career, even though it wasn't that lucrative. It was very successful in terms of, uh, you know, as a journalist. And, uh, the next thing is everybody wants somebody who they feel, they want to feel loved. And uh, I have somebody, I have my wife who I know loves me and unlike most men, I don't have to question it. There's no question. I mean, she spent 20 years of her life trying to get, I mean, not trying, get me out of prison. So I know, you know, that's a wonderful feeling. I mean. If, know your love without a doubt in the world. And the next thing is, everybody wants to be free. I'm that. I've got everything I want in life.